Daigeho, I'm Ari Sales, CEO and founder of Flipiers Corporation. Uh, thank you for inviting me over uh, for a chat. You know, Arthur is already a very classic looking IEM with a, a mosaic um, abalone shells and on the faceplate and the back plates. But we thought of making uh, a, another version of it that is more timeless. As you know, silver, sterling silver is a very timeless piece of jewelry that even if it passes how many decades, it will have oxidations and scratches, but it still looks very, very good. So we thought of making the Argentum with a black patina to make it look classic and the engravings on it will be, uh, uh, are inspired from the, the, the carvings of the church. So yeah, we thought of making it more timeless looking piece of jewelry IEM. Also silver has an impact with how it sounds. So the, 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 the bass travels faster and then with the resonance of the chambers of the silver material. So it definitely has influence with the sound. Okay, Arthur Argentum has this, what we call PFV or a polyfusing vault, joins all the eight BAs in one pocket. So it gives you a, a consistent, accurate sound with every pair. Um, so that influences a lot with the sound of with uh, Arthur Argentum. In contrast with the classic Arthur acrylic shell, it only uses uh, the PVC tubes. But this, the sound is delivered through that uh, polyfusing vault. And after that, it passes through the conoid resonating chamber, which is in a silver material. So it gives a different, you know, uh, the resonance, the resonance brought about by the silver material has influence with the sound of the Arthur Argentum. It makes it more uh, exciting. It makes it more, the sound go faster because of the reflection of sound with the silver material. It is very promising, as I tell you, because it could be very, uh, the lowest, although it's BA, it's pretty deceiving. It sounds dynamic and it's uh, a lot of people were fooled when they <laughs> listened to this. That's not all BA, of course, but uh, you will hear the difference. This is the, the best bass we have ever done with balanced armatures and it's pretty versatile. Uh, it gives you four different signatures. When you are a bass head, just switch the bass switch, the switch number one up, gives you five, five more dB of bass. Um, and for the highs as well, if you switch the second switch up, uh, it will give you five dB of highs. Um, so the challenge here was to, to give an incremental uh, difference from one switch to another but uh, that's what we intentionally did there because there's um, others that just can do million stuff but you can only listen to one right but with this when you're in a different mood in another day you can just you know flick the switch so that's the best part of Artha Argentum uh, it's very versatile The names of the IEMs were derived from, well, some of them are from my family members. Like uh, Arthur is my, my father's name. So we did that in honor to my father uh, because he helped me start this uh, company as well. These are the sil sterling silver IEMs. The inspiration behind this is the, the 500 year old church in Intramuros, which is the San Agustin Church. Uh, it has this wooden door in front of it with hand engraved carvings. Um, so the flowers there are called Sampaguita. Uh, and Sampaguita in our Tagalog term is, was derived from the word Sumpa. Sino Sumpa ko sayo or Sumpa kita? That's why it's called Sampaguita. So this IEM promises a lot you know, there's a lot of great musicians in the Philippines. Yeah. A lot of 
amazing talent, yeah. musicians, yeah. vocalists. But I like to listen to a band called Ben and Ben. Ben and Ben and then December Avenue. I listen to their music. Also KZ Tandingan and TJ Monterde. Because their their vocals is very uh, distinct, very unique. Their their songs are uh, are are very candid. It's like they're speaking to you. It's like they're telling your stories as a normal human being. So I, I recommend that to all of you. Those four artists I just talk about. There's more, of course, but uh, those are my go-to when I listen to Filipino, uh, or we call it OPM music, original Pinoy music.